Decred is forward thinking and exists because the evolution of blockchain is necessary. The team behind Decred believed in the fundamentals of what Bitcoin was aiming to achieve, but was aware of future events that would be near impossible to solve under the current implementation. The Decred team realized early on there are massive trade-offs with the two most popular forms of blockchain protocol. Proof of work, for instance, is the de facto way of securing a system against a double spend attack. But it performs badly in the face of contentious disagreements, including upgrading for eventualities. This is mainly due to the miners being the only entity that can interact with the chain. Coin holders can shout as loud as they want, but they have no say in what happens to the protocol. Proof of stake, on the other hand, is a great mechanism for giving coin holders a vote for what happens on the project and how it develops and improves over time. But proof of stake doesn't perform as well as proof of work when it comes to protecting the project against common attack vectors, including the double spend attack. Proof of stake also has an added issue. And this is that it makes early adopters the most powerful entities in the system by giving them non-dilutable voting powers and incentives. For instance, if a coin holder holds 25% of the coin supply, they will gain 25% of all newly minted coins, and they'll also have 25% of all voting power. To create its hybrid blockchain, Decred uses proof of work and proof of stake in a way that embraces the positive aspects and removes the undesirable elements. Decred uses proof of work to produce the blocks in a timely, secure fashion, but it also uses proof of stake as part of this process to validate that each block has been created accordingly. In this particular case, the proof of stake element is used almost like a two-factor authentication process. To include proof of stake, Decred has come up with a system that allows voting, but also mitigates against all the major trade-offs from a traditional proof of stake system. This system didn't exist, so Decred had to build it from the ground up. Decred's interpretation of proof of stake is also referred to as a ticket voting system, due to the fact that you can't participate unless you own a ticket. The first activity a ticket participates in is with block validation. To define this process further, each block gets validated before it gets added to the chain. For a block to be approved, at least three out of the five voting tickets must vote yes. If a block doesn't get all five votes, the miner's reward gets reduced. And if a block gets less than three votes, the block is rejected. After voting on a block, a ticket can also participate in voting on consensus changes or treasury spending proposals. A consensus vote takes a number of steps to complete, but to define it simply, before a consensus vote can be considered, the miners have to upgrade their software. This upgrade prepares the network for the coming changeover by keeping the current version active and the proposed version in a dormant state. Once enough miners have completed this process, the vote is ready to start. Those miners that don't complete the upgrade are gradually removed as their version of the software is no longer able to mine honest blocks. If the vote is approved, a mechanism is triggered that moves the current version of the software to an inactive mode and the new version from the dormant mode to an active mode. This process is completed over a period of time, which allows for a much smoother transition. The next part of the consensus upgrade uses Decred's ticket voting system to decide if the upgrade will be approved or not. This is a massive contrast to the proof of work system where only the miners can upgrade the network. In Decred, the proof-of-work miners have no say in the system upgrade unless they are also ticket holders. The coin holders vote on the proposed upgrade using the Decred ticket system. The more tickets you have, the more votes you get. In order for a consensus change to be activated, at least 75% of all votes must be yes. One of the unique things about Decred's ticket system is that just like its maximum supply of 21 million coins, there is also a limited supply of tickets, approximately 41,000. Tickets need to be bought with Decred's DCR coin and the price of a ticket fluctuates so the optimal target pool size can be maintained. To make the system even more solid, tickets are locked up and called to vote randomly over the course of a cycle, which can be anything up to 142 days. This process encourages good behavior because effectively you are using your own money to back your decision. 
and there's little chance of pulling off a quick exit scam if you're trying to do something a bit shady. As discussed earlier, proof of stake is great for voting, but it's important that the coin holder gets diluted over time. Decred solves this problem in four ways. Firstly, having a limited supply of tickets and coins prevents the rewards from growing exponentially as the popularity of staking grows. Secondly, the reward is not given solely to the proof of stake participants. Instead, it is split in three ways between the miners, 60%, ticket holders, 30%, and 10% goes to the Decred treasury. Thirdly, the reward reduces by 1% every 21 days, meaning that ticket holders will need to buy more tickets to maintain their current reward rate. And finally, the proof of stake participants don't receive any of the block transaction fees. Ultimately, this is a good thing as there is not an incentive to hike up the transaction costs. By combining the best bits of proof of work and proof of stake, Decred is able to achieve a blockchain project that is at least 20 times more secure than a pure proof of work system. Enabling the coin holders to validate the miners work allows for dishonesty to be halted at a much earlier stage. An attack on the Decred system would require not only the miner to have 51% of the proof of work power, but they would also have to own a significant number of tickets. The current cost of attacking the Decred chain is approximately $1 billion, which makes Decred a hyper-secure system for storing wealth. In the next video, we're going to look more in depth into the ticket voting process and why Decred is leading the way in decentralized governance because of this amazing system.